Well, despite new rules for drivers in B.C., there are alarming results of a new poll that suggests most drivers are not paying attention when they're behind the wheel. At the beginning of this year, B.C. banned the use of handheld cell phones and electronic devices while you're driving. But this survey shows three-quarters of us are distracted by other things while we're on the road. Astrid Brunschmidt has details. Using a cell phone or texting while driving may be illegal in B.C., but a new poll suggests we're still driving distracted. Across the country, three out of four drivers are focusing on something other than the task at hand. You actually really have to concentrate on staying focused when you're out there driving this 2,000-pound uh, machine around that you're responsible for. The poll was commissioned by insurance company Allstate Canada. The report also says that if you take your eyes off the road for as few as five seconds and you're driving 90 kilometers an hour, that's just like driving the length of a football field blindfolded. But what do you consider a distraction? I think that we have so much environmental noise too, like all of the signage. When you're driving down the road, there's so much to read and so much activity going on. <laughs> Internal dialogue. <laughs> you know, probably my biggest distraction is my cigarette. The poll defines distracted driving as visual, manual or cognitive distractions. Everything from texting on a cell phone or changing a CD to eating, using a GPS, applying makeup or being preoccupied with other passengers. That's why the ICBC uh, has this graduated licensing program for inexperienced drivers. And one of the biggest, um, one of the biggest uh, restrictions is, is the amount of people you can have in your car with you. Because even just driving down the road talking to somebody is a distraction. It seems distracted driving knows no borders. This bus driver in Portland, Oregon is being investigated after being caught using an e-reader on the job while driving down the interstate with a bus full of passengers. The advice from police is simple. If you've got uh, a situation where, uh, you know, the bee is about to sting you, well, you know what? You're about to kill somebody or kill yourself. So pull over, then deal with the bee that's about to sting you rather than drive into the back of somebody else or run somebody over. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.